Gabby. And I'm Shauna. And we're 27 Travels. And if you guys don't know anything about us, we are a lesbian travel couple based in Brooklyn, New York. And today we are going on our first trip since the whole pandemic happened. It's a little bit safer to travel in the US right now. So we're actually going on a road trip to a few national parks in the United States. We are so excited and our car is like jam packed with so much food, so much like sanitation products and we have our masks with us and we're just ready to go. Yeah, so we're really excited to be able to travel again and we haven't done a road trip in a few years. I think our last road trip was like in 2018 or something. Oh someone beeps at us. Yeah. <laughs> so since we're still in the pandemic, we're definitely gonna be showing you guys how you can travel safely during this time, like tips that we are going to be doing, um, things that maybe if we mess up something, maybe we'll tell you what not to do. But we have lots of hand sanitizer, we have paper towels, toilet paper, soap, masks. We even have our own food because normally on a road trip, we love like stopping in like little towns and cities and stuff along the way to like grab something to eat and kind of like walk around. But since it's the pandemic right now, we don't really want to stop unless we like absolutely have to. So we're gonna be bringing our own food and our own snacks and yeah we're gonna show you guys how we do it in every place we stop along the way so our first stop on our road trip is going to be Cleveland Ohio we're actually staying with one of my really good friends who lives there so we're really excited I've been to Cleveland before but Gabby hasn't so I'm excited for her to see the city we're gonna take you guys with us in every place we go to every step of the way and show you guys what we're doing to be safe and how you can travel safely too this trip we are actually partnering with Toyota which is so exciting because if you didn't know already Shanna's car that she actually has is a Toyota so we love Toyota and basically we got a rental car for the whole duration of our trip this is our beautiful car we named her Dakota mm -hmm. she's, she's a, a beauty so we'll be taking her everywhere and we're so excited Shanna's car is a 2005 Toyota and this is a 2020 Toyota so definitely a difference there in terms of us actually getting to where we're going <laughs> an upgrade for sure <laughs> so this is everything we've packed with us so far we have water and stuff in here because we're not sure about the water situation and the places we're going to. Our suitcases with our clothes. This is our like sanitation bag with paper towels and things like that. But our snacks are in the back seat. So I'm gonna make sure to show you that. So this is our snack bag. <laughs> we're hoping they're gonna last us the majority of the trip. We have like bread, we have chips, we have like cookies, we have avocados, we have fruit. We, we pretty much have anything that we could possibly want that we think will stay good. So Shan, you ready to go? Let's go. So why are we going on this road trip? Well, um, me and Gabby have hardly ever really traveled throughout the United States. We did like one road trip together like two years ago. Yeah. We went to, we went to Missouri, but we stopped at a few places along the way and like a few different places on the way back. You can watch our videos on that. Yeah, it was channel. really fun, but it rained a lot. So we didn't really get to stop everywhere. Yeah. We only really went to a few places, I would yeah, say. Yeah, because we only had the rental car for a week and it was in March. So the weather was like terrible in the Midwest. So yeah, we didn't really get to explore too much of the United States, like the way that we really would want to have, mm -hmm. like be able to spend like a few days in each place. We have never really done like a real true like USA road trip. And since driving by car is a, is a very safe way to travel during the pandemic, we thought, why not right now? Exactly. <laughs> and we also really love road trips. So we just saw it as a good opportunity to go and have a fun road trip together and kind of go to some places we've never been before. So I don't drive at all, which means that Shanna is doing all of the driving on this trip. And yeah. on our last road trip, she did all the driving. Yeah. But I'm here for the snacks. I bring the snack bag. I pass Shanna snacks while she drives. But I actually really like driving. Like, so I don't mind driving. We are in Ohio, finally. <laughs> that was eight hours, literally. Maybe a little bit more because we kind of like stopped for some gas. We went and used bathroom somewhere, wearing our mask the whole time, of course. But um, we are here and we are in the area that my friend lives in. So we're gonna go to her house right now. And we're not really sure what she has planned for us because it's kind of late, it's like 7 p.m. So we're in, we, we might not actually do anything like super fun until tomorrow, but we will keep you guys posted. But yes, first leg of the road trip, done. Ohio. All right, so it is our first full day in Cleveland today. We just woke up bright and early. And it's raining, of course, you know, just typical things that happen to Gabby and Shanna. But my friend, Mary Gail, is going to still take us around Cleveland and show us some cool spots and things like that. So we're really excited. So 
it stopped raining for like maybe it's been like 10 minutes right now so we don't know if it's gonna hold up but yeah. we went to this really cool place called the root cafe and i got a vegan ice latte and they had vegan baked goods too yeah i got a vegan poppy seed muffin i couldn't That's decide I I was, too. come on <laughs> I, I picked through so many things, you have no idea we got the same thing. What's the point of that? I don't even know. But we are here with two of our really good Cleveland native friends. Elise, ready to stare, you might know her. And this Hi. is one of my best Hello. friends, Mary Gail. Yeah. Um, and they're going to show us around Cleveland, so we're going to get the local experience. Elise and her husband Gio and our friend Marigal took us to Ohio City, which is kind of like a art district area of Cleveland. Um, there's a lot of restaurants here and graffiti. The flag, graffiti. But we're gonna go see some street art and just walk around and explore with some locals. I love it. <laughs> walking around the Ohio City area and then we were gonna go to another area in Cleveland and Gabby and I were like oh can we just walk there because in New York City like we literally walk everywhere yeah we walk constantly in cities <laughs> so we're always used to that but all the Ohio winds that are with us basically said no Cleveland's not really a walkable city <laughs> we were like oh she's like we're kind of shocked that like because most cities are pretty walkable so we're gonna let Elise explain why so Ohio is in or Ohio <laughs> I guess Cleveland is not a walkable city because so many people live out, not a lot of people live right in Cleveland. So people have their cars so that they can commute in from wherever they live. I live 40 minutes away. And that's just, not that that's normal, but it's normal that people live like at least 10 to 15 minutes outside of downtown. So everybody has cars. This is not a public transportation city at all. It exists, but it's just not heavily used. So if you're gonna come, either have a rental car or be prepared to like lift an Uber because things are just really kind of spread out. How do we end up here in the corner looking like enemies? It's very windy here, but we are in the Playhouse Square area of Cleveland right now, and I'm standing in front of the world's largest outdoor chandelier. <laughs> kind of crazy. I don't know really what it's for, but it looks really pretty. I don't want to get so now what we enemies. No, you don't mind the way I said I'm all right. You know exactly what it means and how it hurts. Oh, I can't believe you're here. Can't get any worse. No. So we are at the arcade. This place was one of the first indoor shopping centers in the United States, and we're about to go check it out. I find it so hard to breathe. Cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew. Chocolate truffles? White chocolate truffle ice cream with chocolate chips and M&M cookies. Sounds so good. Mm -hmm. Only I could eat it. It's messy though. I'll, I'll live vicariously through you. So what a crazy, crazy day in Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, we're literally exhausted. We had so much fun. We feel like we went and saw everything. We had the best tour guides today, AKA our friends. <laughs> and we got caught in the rain and then the sun came out and then it was cold and it was raining again. But apparently that is very common Cleveland weather. So I guess we truly experienced it like locals. Yeah, we got the real experience. <laughs> so I think now we're going to relax a little bit and then um, I'm not sure what we're doing later, but if we do anything fun, we'll definitely let you guys know. But if not, we will see you tomorrow when we go to Chicago. Yeah, but what do you think of Cleveland so far? I've been to Cleveland before. This is like my third time here, but I think every time I've been here, I've seen like a different side of it. Um, I definitely agree with like what, you know, our friends were saying, which is that like it's not really a walkable city. And they were also kind of saying that like there's not like too much to do, but there's like enough stuff to do where like it's still fun. So I definitely see that side of it as well. But yeah, I mean, I think it's like a really nice area to come to. I think like spending a day or two here is perfect. But I think any more than that, you kind of probably would have seen everything. Yeah, unless you live here, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much to our friends, Mary Gail, Elise, and Gio for showing us around. We had the best time, the best tour guides, and we learned so much like facts about Cleveland that we had never heard before. So yeah. Yeah, it was, it was so fun. fun. <laughs> We're so sad to go. I know, really sad, but we're excited because we're going to Chicago now. It's about a six hour drive and both of us have never been to Chicago before. Yeah, so it's gonna be a first for both of us and we're definitely gonna need to get some vegan deep dish pizza somewhere, it has yes. to happen. <laughs>